Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's take some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Ghana Women National Teams, and some other updates we need to know on this channel. Black Stars Team of the Week, Episode 4. We are going to talk about it in this update. So, which goalkeeper will make it? Which defenders are going to be in this Black Stars starting 11? Which midfielders are we expecting? And which strikers are also expected to lead the lines for the Black Stars team? Let me know your Black Stars Team of the Week. For this particular episode let me know it in the comment box i know we are going to get some interesting players some players played so well over the weekend and a lot of them also didn't partake in the clubs um games that they played over the weekend let's talk about all this together with some appointments some players reactions and more you know how we do it anytime you join us take your time and like the video for me after liking if you are new subscribe to this channel put us on post notification so that anytime you drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy don't forget to leave a and comment in the comment box and after watching the video please make sure you share for others to come here and enjoy on this channel I'll try and give shout out in the next update so anytime you join me try and leave your comments in the comment box so let's talk about the black stars team of the week you know we have begun this episode for um this is going to be the fourth time that we are doing this we always want to check out black stars players performances over the week then we will actually put them together and get the best out of them coaches have been watching this show and um they are always calling me dming me that yes it's a great one and we should actually um improve on that so right now i've created a playlist for that so if you check the channel black stars team of the week have a playlist so you can go there then you check out episode episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, and episode 4 for you to get all those particular players who made this particular list. After the season, we'll check it out and look at the players who appeared most in this particular team of the week and that is going to be a great one. Now, before we come to that, um, yesterday, the Ghana Football Association, they have made new appointments for some national teams that they are creating, you know, as part of the Ghana Women's Football Strategy. Um, last year, early of last year, then the FAD came out with Ghana football strategy. They said they want to now improve on the women's um, football. And because of that, they've created new national teams. So um, this is how the appointments have been made for the new national teams that have been created. One, we have the national under 23. National under 23, we have Messi Tego Kwaku. She is going to be the head coach. She has coached the Black Queens before, but now he has been given the Ghana under 23 team to be the head coach. An assistant is pretty Priscilla Dixon. Yes, so that is going to be the new national under 23 handlers in them. Then for the same women's under 21, we have um, head coach Dora Zuta. She is going to be assisted by Florence Amuzu. So Dora Zuta is going to be the head coach and Florence Amuzu will be the assistant for her. National under 19, we have Anita Redu. She is going to be the head coach. Then Daniel Ni AJ is going to be her assistant. Then under 18, for the women's side, we have Charles Anoche Frempon. Yes, um, he's going to be the head coach in there. Then Gifty Ayu, um, Ayu will also be her assistant. National under 16, we have Benis Educhumwa. She's going to be the head coach, then assisted by Linda Pra. And um, that is that for the women national team's appointments. Um, well, I was somehow confused, but we have to actually wait and see how the whole plan is, the whole strategy. We have to get into the details because many were asking questions that what is the difference between the under 18 and the 19. But well, let's wait and see. So right now we have from under 17 to under 23, except I think under 22 that we don't have. We have under 16, um, under 17, under 18, under 19 then under 20 is already there that's the ghana black princesses then under 21 is here no 22 then we have 23 so let's wait and see what the gfa want to do with this we'll be following and read about it and also bring you more updates from the ghana women national teams and that is the quick one we wanted to share with you um now let's go to the black stars team of the week but before then joseph pento also reacted to the goal he scored and also assisted for his side illegalazi over the weekend he posted on x thank god for the goal assist and the three points hashtag jp and he added some of the pictures coming in from the game he played for la galaxy yesterday thomas tepat in fact Pate has been training from yesterday till today because yesterday arsenal they lost two goals to at home to aston villa and the game was calling for Pate, guys to be honest with you 
Arsenal's method was that weak and they needed party to create that kind of, um, you know, solidity in the midfield. Odegaard was playing so well, but he needed party in the game. And I don't know what Ateta is actually doing with party. Maybe, just maybe, party might leave. I've heard rumors about transfer issues, but for now, there's no concrete transfer news around Thomas Pate. If I get it, I'll bring it to you on this channel. So he has been training. If you see his news, it is because yesterday he was not part of Arsenal squad that played against Aston Villa and Arsenal lost and it looks like they are bottling the league again. Manchester City might just win it because right now, if City win all their uh, matches left, they are, they are actually lifting the trophy and I don't think Liverpool and Arsenal right now, they are prepared to give them that tough time because look at the way Liverpool lost to Crystal Palace and Arsenal also losing to Aston Villa. So that is it. Now, let's go to the team of the week. First of all, the goalkeeping aspects. For the past episode, that's episode 3, we had Dalad Ibrahim, Ali Duseidu, Nicolas Sopoku, um, Alexander Jeko, Patrick Pozo, Fosin uh, Amankwa, um, Jeffrey Schlop, Fatai Saku, Abdo, Ibrahim Osman, then um, Achi, that is Ragnar Achi, and Mohamed Fuseni for the past episode. So today's own, with the goalkeeping aspect, over the weekend, you know, most of our keepers are also not started for their club side. And... It just looks like that. We didn't have Wallow Court, we didn't have Manaf Nuruddin, but this time around we had Lawrence Artizagi who came into um, you know the goal post as usual for his side. That is St. Gallen. They won by some five goals to one. But Atizigi's performance was quite great and he was um, rated 6.8. That is it also for Atizigi against Verdun Sports. They won 5-1 and he was great. Making three saves. All the three saves were inside the box. So among the goalkeepers that we have, the top ones who are playing usually in Europe and others, I think, um, you know, Atizigi actually stood tall over the weekend. For the home base goalkeepers, I followed a few of them. But, you know, for those ones here, sometimes getting their statistics and everything is so much difficult. So sometimes we skip them, but not that we are not following. I've been following them last time. Dalad made it, and this weekend I didn't see um, the standout goalkeepers for me. So yes, I tip Lawrence Atizgi to be in post for this particular week. Now, for the right back, um, all the Black Stars right backs we have. In fact, the top three. Let me put it that way. None of them played over the weekend. Ali Desidu was on bench for his side. We also had Tarek Lamte was out due to injury. Then um, Dennis Odoi also was out here. He didn't play. So we had our had to actually scout for new ones. And there's this one right back I've been following. He played for Accra so folk. His name is Michael Ampedu. He has played for the Ghana um, Black Galaxies. And he is a very good right back. This weekend, he impressed in has of folk games that they played against Karela. And he was solid. He won the man of the match over the weekend. And it tells you that this boy, he's one player that we should be watching out for him. Michael Ampedu, he's very, very good. I'm 26 year old boy and he has a lot of experience in his boots so that is it also for you so i picked michael ampedu to be the right back for the black stars team of the week in this particular episode now with the left back um a lot of them were also not consistent ebenezer anandi didn't feature for his side novi paza because he picked up a record last week patrick pozo played but his performance was that low then um Baba Abdurrahman also didn't feature over the weekend so yes that is it but i settled on gideon mensa he played for his side aj or they went away and the game ended 3-4 but his performance was quite good he was rated 6.6 .6 in this particular one and 6.8 eight rather yes and that is it also on him so Gideon Mensa will be my black stars left back over the weekend in this particular game now with the center backs um right now we are getting new faces or new players who are playing so well we didn't have Alexander Jiko playing over the weekend Mohamed Salisu of late is also on the bench I don't know what's happening to Salisu then um I think few of them didn't feature but for those who featured I settled on one Nicolas Opoku Nicolas Opoku he appeared last week and this weekend to his performance was quite great for his side Amiens. He was rated that is 7.5 for the game that they played against Konkanu. The game ended goalless and he was solid at the back. 7.5 rating. His performance passes and everything was accurate and Nicolas Opoku, he is doing so well and he has appeared in this team of the week yet again. I'll partner him with 
the player in the name of Abdul Mumin. He plays for Rav Alacano in Spain. Abdul Mumin has also been solid for the past three games consecutively for his side Rav Alacano. And over the weekend, he got a rating of 7 um, out of 10. That is according to um, Sofa score. And um, he played against Atafi, making a lot of good clearances, giving good passes. And Abdul Mumin, he is a boy that we should focus on him. He's also a right to Dream Academy boy, and he's doing so well. And I'll play Abdul Mumin, then Nicolas Opoku. So with the four back, I have one Michael Ampedu, Gideon Mensa, then Abdul Mumin, then Nicolas Opoku. That is the back line for me with goalkeeper Lawrence Artizigi. In the midfield, yes, um, I had to open the net because um, we have some few injuries and others. So our midfield is one. I settled on Bernard. Mensa, yes, he plays for Artai in the Saudi Pro League. This player, he has issues with the national team, and well, but he's a Ghanaian and he is playing so well for Artai over the weekend. They played goalless against Al Shabab in the Saudi Pro League, but his performance was good, getting a rating of 7.3, giving good forward passes, and he was so much solid. And I'll play him as one of the midfielders in this particular one. I'll also add Elisha Ousu to the midfielders that we have. Yes, Elisha was also solid for his side. AJ Ozem, captain for the side, and he played so well. 90 minutes for AJ Ozem in that away game. We're getting a rating of 7 out of 10 is good for Elisha Ousu in this particular weekend. Now, with the um, number 10, or I'll say the AM row, I'll go in for Mohamed Kudus. Yes, Kudus was in action for West Ham, even though West Ham, they lost by two goals to know against Fulham. Kudus was one of the best performers for his side, getting a rating of 7.4 out of 10. So, see that Kudus, he has also been that consistent with his performance for West Ham United. And that is it also for Mohamed Kudus. Now, let me talk about the right wing. Yes, um, we have some few players who are doing well, the likes of Atai Saaku and the others but over the weekend we had joseph pinto who did so well for his side that is talking of ellie galazi he scored a goal and also assisted and it tells you that yes he won man of the match as well let me add that so he had a rating of 8.6 and um, you know he is going to be my right winger in the Black Stars team of the week, episode 4. So Joseph Pinto as a right winger. Now in the left wing position, it actually goes for Ibrahim Sadiq. I've spoken about this boy on this channel, and, um, I think about twice. And he's also doing well for AZ Alkman. He's He has not been really consistent in terms of his performances, but... The player, he is a very good left winger. He scored and also assisted climbing off the bench. And he had to do just about 28 minutes, but he showed what he can do and added quality to the team. And that is it for Ibrahim Sadiq. He also had a rating of 8.6. Climbing off the bench, 28 minutes, winning man of the match. Tells you that, yes, his performance was good for AZ Akma. And he is going to be my Black Stars team of the week in this particular episode. Now with the striker or the man to lead the lines, it goes to Mohamed Fuseni. Mohamed Fuseni. Yes, he is also great. And um, he has been doing so well. For the past three games, he has scored six goals for Randers in the Denmark Super League. Since he joined them, he has scored seven goals and already he's just about three goals shy from the top scorers. So since he joined them, he has played only eight games in the Danish Super League and scoring some seven goals for himself. So, so Mohamed Fuseni is going to lead the lines for the Black Stars team of the week. So this is my Black Stars team of the week episode four. Goalkeeper Lawrence Artizigi, right back. Uh, Michael Ampedu, left back. Gideon Mensah, two center backs. I paired um, Abdul Mumin and Nicolas Opoku. Now in the midfield, we have Bernard Mensah. Um, then we have Elisha Osu and Mohamed Kudus. Right wing position goes in for Joseph Pinto. Left wing for Ibrahim Sadiq and the man to lead the lines is the player in the name of um, talking of Mohamed Fuseni. And that is it for the Black Stars team of the week episode 4. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. We have some other players. Um, the likes of Ashimeru didn't feature. Um, Kofi Trey didn't feature. We all know due to injury. And some few other players who also did quite good. Others today didn't really impress in this particular um, week. So that is it also for you in here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Do you agree with me? If you don't too, let me know it in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.